Good day, everyone. Well, you know what this means, don't you? We're going to be filling in the gaps here. Right there, okay? You know that you've been to Rock Auto, don't you? Well, these are the pads I got for the TR4, freshly sprayed with uh, carburetor cleaner. And uh, I'm just going to have to throw this, turn this inside out or something. But these are the new... The new thing they say, developed for professionals by professionals. This is the new stuff. Centric from lab to lift. So let's start right there. And what these things do is now, once again, this is for Lucy today. Doesn't matter which car it is. Once again, remember to, if you put pads in, remember to pump your brakes up. But these are coated with a special material that is to break. Uh, the glaze off of uh, the rotors, and then here's your special goo. Oh, Molly, break loop, okay. Divide that by four, and then, but this is supposed to wear off in two, three, four hard breakings and uh, clean, clean the rotors. Interesting concept. I'm looking forward to that. I got a little bit more brake bleeding to do on this thing. I got to bleed that side and this side, so that'll be easy. I decided to change that from white to to uh, Pontiac kind of sea foam. I don't know why white one. I just I don't know. Just kind of felt like it. <laughs> no real reason. It's something different. So let's up. Uh, let's get her up on the lift or, or up in the air whilst on the lift and uh, pull this wheel off and uh, that wheel off and uh, got to get the uh, the uh, chocks and all that stuff. Okay, let's pull this wheel off right here. Okay, so this is the basic Triumph way of removing the pins. I can usually do it with my fingers. It's not real hard, and they go in back ways. And the pins actually go here, not here. And uh, I guess I should have showed you that, but anyway. All right, so this calls for the old double whammy. Uh, here they are right here. Let's get these two things here. and. Uh, Press these in, pull those out. I know those don't look too bad, but uh, anyway, I just want to try these new ones. You know, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so what I got to do here is open this bleeder because this has old fluid in it. I don't want to forget to do that. Okay, so let's. Uh, so open the bleeder and then press those back, and it gets all the gunk out of, or most of it, out of the calipers there, okay? Okay, so I got the molly spread out in equal portions here. Okay, so don't don't let that stuff linger on your finger. All right? And then I uh, take these out. They just kind of look bad. I don't know. They probably really aren't that bad. Uh, let's get some brake clean and sort of just spray in there and get the stuff off the current stuff off the calipers. Da da da! All accolades to Eric O. I'm gonna just let that dry out before I put these new pads in there. I hate for something to eat that that fancy red lining off before we uh, before we get too far. Ooh, that one just kind of fell out of there. Let's just do both sides and all. Yeah, all right. I was surprised to find these, I, you know, so easily. I, I, okay, let's let that dry out. Where's my air hose? There it is. Okay. Another delivery coming, I don't think so. Okay, so these go in. Let's see how lucky I get here. Well, I got pretty lucky. Shake them around, because that keeps the uh, the molly lube. Ooh, look at that, just slipped right in there. Okay, no molly on my fingertips there. Okay, and I got it the right way. You want the, the pad toward the rotor. 
I'll see if this one goes as easy. Okay, yep, yeah, it does, and just shake it. Okay, and then these go in. Keep the little hole at you, going at you, if you can. You can spin them around sometimes. Sometimes they're tighter than other times. And grab your pin. Now, I always put the pin in. I don't know. It's just I always had to have it. Putting it in this way instead of that way. I don't know why. I was kind of afraid it would, uh, it might interfere with the, the little weather seal on the piston. Okay, and then you just push that in, and that's all there is to that. You'd think it was more than that, but I guess it doesn't need to be. I haven't, knock on uh, rotors, ever had a problem with that. And that is more or less it right there. Oh, come on, there you go. Okay, so they're, they're in place, and that's the way those work. Now, what I would do at this point uh, would be just to go ahead and take these over, throw these in the bin. I don't see any reason I'm going to ever need those. Okay, so just get rid of old parts. And I got these taped up like I talked about on the other side to keep these even. And so there you go. We're bled. We're checked. Uh, we've got some spider webs down there. Uh, where is it? There it is. Let's take care of them. Okay. I generally try to close that. Okay, so uh, I always uh, put that off the cloth. It might be hot. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We'll do the other side and check the brake fluid and all that stuff. So we're going to just call this one. We're going to call this side done, the other side done, and I'm going to go ahead and put you up in the cockpit for a little, a little another little test ride because they, uh, they they say you're supposed to kind of hit these things kind of hard a couple of times and burn off the glaze on your rotors. So what you want to do when you get in the car? You want to let the brake off and you want to slowly hit that pedal and she'll go way far down. There's no hurry. You want to get a good solid pedal. And well, well, let's see if I can show you how. That's pretty good. That feels, that feels almost exactly like the TR4. Good, solid, nice. Okay. Might have made a good call there. All right. Let's uh, crank her up. I am out of gear. And uh, there's my nice blue cover. I'm kind of digging there. I wish I thought of that a lot before. She's she's really a little warm. It's been uh, we could almost hear that alternator kick in. Hey, that was weird. Let's do that again. Let's. Is it pulling that much? That was weird. Almost hear it whistling in. Okay. Well, she's gonna cause a little drag. All right. Get my glasses on. It's about to rain here, I think. I, I don't know if that's true or not. Now, what you want to do is not, in, because these are the fancy kind of pads, you want to be kind of gentle with them until you can apply them at a pretty good road speed. And, uh, glaze them brakes. So I'm going to try to just coast all I can here. I hear that train a coming. Okay. We have managed to go a little distance here. Get up to a fourth gear. My guess is I'm going maybe 50. So what you want to hear is nothing. You don't want to hear a brake squeal or anything. So let's throw her out of gear speed and hit the brakes on it. Ah! No, that was me. <laughs> well, that's pretty doggone good. 
<laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Ugh. Right there, my dog barks sometimes. It gets me. Okay, I'm gonna do that a couple times. Let's just go on down the back way. It's all very even, and I'd imagine that ought to just about do it. The one thing when you get a Weber tuned right, it won't it won't load too much on idle. That's one of the characteristics of the Weber is it'll load gas, and stumble. You have to kind of have to always purge it out like a three, four barrel Corvette like Blue had. They might tend to load up on you a little bit. I, I, I might say that it was kind of, there's a crown in the road here, but okay, that's okay. Alright, let's go home. Okay, made it home. Let's put her up on the on the lift here and then we've got, too, we've got too much to do tonight. I gotta rebuild some pumps tonight. So anyway. She don't run on like a lot of the other cars. Okay, that's it. So give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And uh, let's uh, let's get let's get to work on that subscribing thing. All right, sure appreciate y'all watching. Hope I help somebody like y'all help help me here on YouTube. And we will be talking later. All right, everything's off. Bye bye, guys. Take care. <laughs>